from the News Channel 5 Network. This is Open Line. Good evening, Nashville. Thank you so much for joining us tonight on Open Line. We've got a really serious topic. Just kidding. We're talking about puppies and the Betty White Challenge. Animal adoptions are just around the corner because, as many of you know, Betty White absolutely adored animals. I'm joined by National Humane Association's Kenneth. So, Kenneth, if you're able, tell us a little bit about this challenge as well as what you guys are expecting on Monday. Yeah, first of all, thank you so much for bringing me on today and having me talk about animals and how to donate to Nashville Humane. I mean, thank you. That is our mission. Um, so, yeah, the Betty White Challenge, it's its one of those things that, you know, we rely on donations. We're a nonprofit. And the fact that the community started this buzz on social media that, you know, everyone needs to donate on her birthday to an animal organization and Betty White Challenge is trending all over the place and um, hopefully, you know, it's going to be a really good donation day for Nashville Humane and all the animals that are at the shelter. How many animals do you have at the shelter right now? And I know adoptions is a big push, but for the people who might be staying at home, um, some people are saying, hey, donate five dollars in her honor or what are you guys looking forward to? I mean, we're looking forward to, you know, any donation is so appreciated at our shelter. So whether it's $5, whether, you know, you, you just come on over and, you know, you're thinking maybe I'll adopt a dog or maybe I'll get some merch, you know, any way that you can support our mission is what we, you know, we look forward to, but we are looking forward to see how big will this grow? And, you know, not only for our shelter, but how many other shelters are gonna be benefiting from this nationwide, because this is just, a national donate day in honor of the late great Betty White. What do you guys have coming up at National Humane? I know you have some projects with different prisons and jails around the area and what will their donations go towards? I'm, I'm sorry, which don oh, the donations that come to our shelter, they will come to the over 4,000 animals that come through our doors throughout the year. So all the donations go directly back to our babies. And, um, you know, it helps them out. Like everyone that's on our adoption floor currently, which side note, right before I was leaving work today, a litter of Mastiff puppies moved to the floor and they are so adorable. And we can talk about them again, but I mean, those puppies, you know, before they went to the adoption floor, um, they're all up to date on shots. They are microchipped. They have um, been spayed or neutered. And, you know, they are just ready for their forever home. And forever home, that's, all, that's what we're all about, is finding forever homes and making people happy. I know sometimes after Christmas, unfortunately, it's really sad, but we see people give animals as gifts and then they ended up mm -hmm. bringing them back to a shelter. Um, are you guys seeing any of those animals who are now looking for their forever home? You, you know what, you know, I'm gonna, it has not happened. And um, it was pretty good. Like a lot of a lot of people that have come in and it's been happening all year long throughout this pandemic, you know, people are adopting and they're committing to this lifelong new family member that they're getting. And, you know, people understand we have our adoption counselors that sit and talk with the people and make sure is this the right fit for you? You know, like if someone lives in a condo or they live in a townhome, maybe getting a beagle mix isn't the right breed for that just because you know they have that howl that you know maybe if you share walls with someone they don't adore but you know it's just those little things we really sit and try to make the perfect match for everyone so that a return adoption doesn't happen now they do happen and we will welcome everyone back into the shelter because once you have a home at national humane association it's always your home and we will just go through the process of finding them a perfect forever home again what do you expect Monday at the shelter to look like? Do you expect a lot of people to show up? Well, um, we have, um, we've been, they've been promoting it on the air since last Friday, but our friends over at um, Hot 106.7, um, they are, they were, they're promoting the Betty White Challenge and they were asking for people to volunteer at the shelter with Nova and to also donate. So we've got 
two sets of uh, volunteer groups coming in from 10 to 12 and then from two to four and the slots filled up so fast people want to come in and help and so we're gonna they're gonna be there at the shelter you know we're kind of gonna have a little bit of a meeting tomorrow to find out these are the activities you guys are going to be doing but we've got a day of fun planned for these people and you know if you can't donate give back to the shelter we rely so much on volunteers and so we're really looking forward to new people coming to the shelter and you know just raising more awareness to the animals that we have available for adoption that are looking for forever homes were you a betty white fan oh a huge yes the answer is yes i'm a huge but i mean who isn't a betty white fan exactly it's like, <laughs> the, go the golden girls are everywhere you just can't there's a reason why like they're on so many different syndicated channels and the fact that people know it and love it and it's just a great show and she was just no matter what she did she was just a great person so if people are feeling a little lonely and want to maybe come look for an animal to adopt, I know we've talked a little bit about the puppies, but do you have any uh -huh. other animals that you've met this week? Um, okay, so I get shelter crushes a lot. That's what keeps, I call them crushes so that I don't adopt them all because my job is to help them find homes and not bring them all home, even though I am guilty of adopting multiple animals from the NHA. Um, but I'm gonna talk about my friend Casanova who he'd been at the shelter for a while, an amazing dog, two-year-old lab mix, very handsome, big old blockhead, uh, walked great on the leash. Uh, he had really good potty manners and he had this really distinct raspy voice and everyone just loved him. The only thing when he was, he was such a long-term resident is that he needed to go to a home where he was the only pet. So he was there for a while and, you know, we have been, do we've done some media with him this past week and beforehand today he got adopted. So he got his forever home. So that's, that's my current crush. And now I have to find a new one tomorrow when I go back to work, which will be easy to do because as I was leaving today, a bunch of new animals were moving to the adoption floor. So there's always someone there to fall in love with and um you know root for them that they find their most perfect forever home i know recently too i think a couple months ago you guys had some pretty big cases i mean some even with criminal Im implications in addition to you know displaced animals from the tornadoes mm -hmm. um talk a little bit about taking in some of those animals from like natural disasters and some of the cases that we've seen covered Sure. Like one of the most recent ones was uh, the her the tornadoes that happened up in Kentucky. You know, we um, we partner with other organizations out there and, you know, they gave us a call. They were like, can you please help us out? And so what we did because of all the destruction that was up there, they knew that they were going to be getting stray animals brought to them. So what we did was we went up to um, Kentucky and we took animals that were already available for adoption at the shelter and then brought them back down to Nashville Humane Association. So that's, you know, to help alleviate space in the shelters for the strays that were gonna show up. And all those babies have gotten adopted already. Like, it's just really, it's wonderful. Awesome, it seems like the Betty White Challenge kind of came out of nowhere. I mean, where did this start? Was it TikTok or Instagram? I mean, do you even know? Uh, yeah, I don't know if it was TikTok, Twitter, or Instagram, but just the hashtag just started trending everywhere. Like I was, um, and it was almost immediate. Like you know, the announcement came out that um, you know, we lost her today on New Year's Eve, and within even on Facebook, people were just like, "Have you heard about the Betty White Challenge? You know, all you you know, donate whatever you can to a shelter." It just it just create it, it like its own life of its own and it's just amazing didn't you she say she loved it <laughs> yeah she would have didn't you say like she some really people would've. even were like okay here's my donation and then like in the bot the line they're like for betty <laughs> yeah but, i mean even before it happened we i've already gotten donations in and people just put in the comment section for betty and it's like wow it's already started so the fact that it's grown it's like we're anticipating you know you're just in just the excitement of not knowing what is this day going to bring us because it's just kind of you know for all nonprofits out there and all animal rescues this is a day that none of us knew was going to happen so every bit that we get is just you got to just jump up and be thankful for it and just be like thank you so much 
Awesome. All righty, guys, call the number on your screen. Now's your chance to ask Kenneth any questions you might have about their furry friends. We'll be right back after this.